Hello everyone, myself Hemangi Rajput, Steering Engineer at Team Solaria. In previous episode, we discussed about composites and aerodynamic system. Today, we will discuss about steering, which is a subsystem of vehicle dynamics. Steering system is the key interface between driver and the vehicle. The basic function of steering is to control the direction of vehicle. In addition to this, steering also provides a way to reduce the driver effort by increasing input torque of the steering system. The steering system in conjugation with suspension system provides control and stability of the vehicle. This is done through a series of links used to convert the rotation of steering wheel by changing the direction of wheels. The most conventional steering arrangement is to turn the front wheel using hand operated steering wheel which is positioned front of the driver via steering column. In our vehicle, we use rack and pinion steering system. A rack and pinion steering system consists of pinion which is a circular gear with a rack a linear gear. The, steering, the system works by converting rotary motion of the pinion into the linear motion of the rack by providing a gear reduction and turning the vehicle's wheel left or right. In Invictus 4.0, we use Ackerman steering geometry arrangement which links steering of the wheels according to required distinct radius of curvature. From Invictus 2.0, we started evolving steering system in our vehicle. Till Invictus 3.1, we use UV joint. But in Invictus 4.0, which is our current vehicle, we have removed the UV joint from the design because of certain geometric constraints and steering free play. That's why we implemented non-UV. We concept consistently improved our vehicle steering design considering a rally event. In this season, we have increased the FOS of the component which is factor of safety to improve its endurance limit. There are certain challenges faced while designing such as in order to achieve perfect turning radius and required accurate percentage, we have gone through several iterations. Because of non-UV joint, we made changes in design of rack. We have increased the efficiency by adding non-UV joint in design of steering. While designing, we iterate the design in 2D as well as 3D software such as Lotus. By conjugating with suspension system, we got optimized design. Now, let's move to the interesting addition in our vehicle, which is autonomous steering. In this season, we have implemented contactless steering, which allows the vehicle to steer on its own on the given path. This will explain in detail in upcoming videos. This is it for today. Stay tuned for upcoming videos where we will discuss about suspension system, which is also a subsystem of vehicle dynamics. Thank you and have a nice day.